Hi, dear Music Store Television spectators. Now we arrived at the Pearl booth. I'm here with Thomas Franke, and he will tell us all about the new products from Pearl. Here we have a brilliant, fantastic drum set from the reference series. Thomas, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, hello everybody at Music Store TV. You're at the right place here now at Pearl, at the Pearl booths. There's only one reason to play drums, Pearl, that know everybody, every drummer out of the world. So, and this here is our, we're very proud of our, this new product. This is our, an extension of our existing reference series. We call it Reference Pure. And the Reference Pure stands for a, a resonant tone. It's the most resonant professional series kit in the market. We talk about the reference series. Every drummer and every dealer knows that the reference concept is the most sophisticated kit out in the drummer world. Um, it's, it's for Pearl the best of masterworks. Okay. And um, we work, we are working uh, in the reference series with three different components All right. to achieve the best possible sound from each individual drum inside of this drum composition. Um, we work with the three components are the shell composition, the shell thickness and the bearing edges. Talking about shell composition, we found out that there's no better way to make a 12-inch rectum sound great than using 100% maple. Yeah. So our rectum 12-inch 12, 12 is 100% maple. Yeah. For the, the smaller toms, when we move to the smaller toms, we found out for getting more attack, more projection, we have to mix birch into the maple. Okay. And for the larger toms, for getting more low end, from the 14 inch to the floor tom, floor toms and the bass drums, we mix African mahogany to the maple to get the low end to get kicked in the stomach All right. how it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking about shell thickness, we use six ply shells for the rack toms till 13 inch and for the 14 till 24 inch shells we use eight plies. Eight by, eight by shells and talking about bearing edges we're working with three different for the snares we use a 45 degrees sharp edge for attacked for the attack the cut it and aggressive loud sound for the rectums we use the 45 rounded bearing for getting the right balance between projection and the warmness Sound. And for the bigger toms and for the floor toms and the bass toms, we work with a fully round bearing. Again, for getting low end punch, and that's what we want to do. That's the reference reset, that's what reference stands for. And what we did with the reference pure, different to the, to the original existing reference, we're using thin shells. Okay. Thin shells, that means every ply of the shell is dot nine millimeter, an even ply shell. Compared to the original one, there is dot nine, one dot six millimeter, dot nine, one dot six millimeter, okay. which we use. So we have a thin shell compared to a thick shell with the original reference, and that gives, makes the sound very, very open and resonant and uh, gives it a direct response um, which is needed in recording, in the recording environment, for example. If you compare it to the original reference kit, um, it is a more focused sound, uh, perfect for the live performance. So that means our customer, the, the drummer can choose now two different reference sounds. The open resonant sound for the recording environment and for the live performance we have the focused reference sound, the original thick shells. Talking about thin shells, it also uh, influences the pitch of the, uh, of, the uh, of the shell, of the drum. That means a thin shell 
has a lower pitch than uh, than a thick shell. Okay. Uh, I will demonstrate demonstrate this uh, later. All right. Um, then the other thing, a thin shell achieves a wider tone of wider, wider range of tone. That means you can go out for the pop gig, you pitch, pitch, uh, uh, tune the, the kit very high. And uh, next day you can go out for the same kit for the rock gig and pitch it down. And you still have the resonance which, you're, which you are looking for. So that's about the thin shells. And to optimize the concept about the light shells, and that we, um, yeah, we optimize, uh, optimize the uh, open and resonant sound. We were looking for a special hoop because we didn't want to to use a weight, heavy weight die cast hoop uh, to eliminate the resonance. Therefore, we had a we designed a very tricky one. We call it FET. We have a very tricky one, it's not a very tricky one, we call it the fat tone hoop. Okay. And this fat tone hoop um, is not a die cast hoop, it is not a triple fan hoop, it's a 1.6 millimeter hoop. And the thing is, the trick is we hemmed it, we curl it inside, and that makes us make it strength. So the, the, so the, the hoop is, gets the same strength than the die cast hoop, but it's light like a 1.6 millimeter hoop. So the the shell can sing, gets you resonance. That's what we are looking for, and gets you direct response of the sounds. That's what we're looking for. So, low mass from outside on the shell, combination with the thin shell, makes this um, open and resonant sound. Talking about light hardware yeah. from outside, there is also a new, new um, swivel tube lock. It's also very low mass light lock. Um, to optimize, optimize this concept. That's about our reference pure, it stands for pure, pure tone, pure resonance and pure perfection. Thomas, thank you very much. More information on musicstore.de.